Good morning and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide, where today we're here at Drayton Manor for our first visit of 2021. Charlotte's back. I'm back. Here she is. Are you looking forward to your day? Yes. Getting back here to Drayton Manor, of course, checking out the various different changes across the park. It's the seventh theme park in a row for me now. Charlotte's had a few days at work. I am. Uh, she, she couldn't make it down south. But of course, if you haven't already seen the vlogs, check them out. We've had a very busy week, though, here at Theme Park Worldwide. We did three theme parks to start the season. And this is like the final vlog in this opening week here from another local park of ours, Drayton Manor. But yeah, it's good to be back here. Sun's going to be shining today. Yeah, it's lovely and day. You, you know what that means, don't you, with the sun what? shining? Well, there's a certain ride there just behind us that's had a bit of a refurbishment for this year. It's Storm Force 10. And I think today should be the day that Charlotte gets on her first major water ride of 2021. What do you all think, viewers? What do you think, Charlotte? I don't think so. <laughs> right, it's testing over there. Shockwaves going round. We've seen quite a few rides testing. Of course, in line with government guidance, the indoor attractions aren't allowed to be open at the moment. Uh, so things like the Haunting, um, Sheriff Showdown, they can't be open. But we'll show you everything what's open here today and, of course, give you an update. Also this year, I am now an annual pass holder. They're doing a 12 months annual pass. That's one of the first of many improvements that the Looping Group, the new owners, have made. Not just a season pass anymore. It's valid for 12 months, so it's great. Like, I've bought it today and, of course, I can get all the visits throughout the year and don't have to pre-book. It's really good. Yeah, like it's one of the only parks you don't have to pre-book. You can just show up at. So I'll be coming down here to Drayton Manor on quite a regular basis this year. We've got the new area going to be opening, of course. Looking forward to that. And uh, along with that as well, the Rapids will be reopening soon as well. So another water ride. No! Not today, though, but uh, we'll definitely get on Storm Force later on. Are you going to ride? Maybe. Maybe? Oh, it's not a straight no. It's a maybe. But uh, welcome to today's vlog in the sunshine from Drayton Manor. Right then, time for our first ride of the day here at Drayton Manor. We're starting off on Accelerator. Do you like the theme in here in the queue line? Of course, it has got an indoor queue line, so they're actually batching down here at the door. Just, of course, to avoid everybody all standing in here together. There's some nice decor around. It used to be known as Ben 10 when it opened, actually, back in 2011. Makes it 10 years old this year. The Coma Junior Boomerang. Yeah, so of course, good out of stopping you all from waiting in here, you know. It's actually better. On a really hot day, it gets too hot in here, so it'd be nice if they did that anyway, to be honest. But here we go. Of course, we can't film on the rides today. However, very exciting. We've actually arranged with the park to come and film some brand new on-ride POVs. So that's going to be coming up on the channel very soon, so stay tuned for those. First ride of the day there on Accelerator. Did you enjoy your yeah, ride? It's a great family coaster that is. Yeah, it is. I quite enjoy those. Yeah, really good. We're in a little bit slow this morning. Yeah. Takes a bit of warming up, but it was good to get on. Recommend heading to that ride first, to be honest, because of, of course only running one train because of the boomerang style layouts. Um, yeah, it just build up quite a big queue, doesn't it? But good operation. They're actually filling up the trains here at Drayton Manor as well, um, filling all rows. We're going on the Buffalo roller coaster now. That looks like it's doing the same. Again, this is another one that gets quite a big queue, but you do get two laps round on it. How this ride's still going, I don't know. Like, it's crazy, but uh, it's it. still powering round just about this one. Nice classic, the Buffalo roller coaster here at Drayton. So let's go and get in the queue and we'll put in some more off ride shots. But like I say, POVs will be coming soon. Looking forward to sharing lots of on ride POVs from all the major rides here um, in the coming weeks.
before. So just on our ride there on the Buffalo roller coaster. We only waited about five minutes. We pretty much got straight on. Now it's time for the one, the only, it's Apocalypse. Now, Charlotte, are you coming on? I'm gonna give it a go. Now, of course, I've got some good news. I've got some bad news. The good news is it is open. The bad news, there's no stand up. So that means you're gonna have to ride sitting down. I hate it. <laughs> you don't like it. You actually prefer stand up. Yeah, I do. What's your reasoning behind that? It's the feeling in your stomach, you go, Whoa. it's horrible. <laughs> you do tend to feel it more in your stomach, don't you, on the sit down, which is crazy, really. But are you going to give it a go? It's up to you. I'm going to give it a go. She's coming on. She's doing it all today. You know, Storm Force 10 Apocalypse. She's doing it all. I love it. But uh, here we go. It's going to have a ride. Yeah, like I said, unfortunately, the stand-up towers are closed at the moment. As you can see, the gate is pulled across there. I don't know if that's going to be the situation all season or not. I will try and find out some more information. But the good news is it is still open and still operating down here at Drayton Manor. Um, I'm sure a lot of people are interested to know what the future is for this ride, of course, um, with it being potentially up for sale at the moment, we don't know. But it's still open at the moment, or at least sit down is, so we're going to have a ride. But I'm really hoping that Drayton Manor do keep this ride here. It's a staple ride. And of course, you've got to think on the sit down towers, it does only have a 1.2 height restriction as well, which still does fit in with the family offering. It's crazy to say it, but it does still fit in 1.2. Let's go and ride. And we'll see when we come off. Masks on, and let's go ride Apocalypse. Oh, she's such a beauty. Always good to see Apocalypse. Now, out of five towers, unfortunately, there is only the one in operation. Of course, you've got Tower 5 around there. That's stand-up without a floor. And of course, you've got the two stand-up with floors around that side. And you've got two sit-downs here. Not too sure uh, why Tower 1 isn't on, but yeah, it's just uh, Tower 2 in operation oh. there. So this queue's probably only about 15 minutes or so, but here it is. The music's building up the anticipation for Charlotte. The good news is, though, I've just spoke with a member of staff about the stand-up towers, and uh, yeah, it should be back open within days, which is good. So they're not permanently closed, which is good to see. Shame they haven't got both of the sit-down towers on, but yeah, stand-up should be uh, open soon. So that's uh, good. Not too concerned about that then. I'll be back very soon for that. Just come off Apocalypse then. Charlotte came I on. Did it. She did it. Oh, so proud of you for coming on. It's been a few years, hasn't I've it? I've been on it for years. How was the sensation? Horrible. <laughs> <laughs> you loved it really. But yeah, only Tower 2 on. And people say that Apocalypse isn't very popular anymore. Look at the queue. It is down the steps just here. So just goes to show this is still a very popular ride. And like I say, it is a 1.2 meter uh, thrill ride for sit down. Of course, it's 1.4 for stand up <laughs> when that's on. But shows, doesn't it, just how popular this ride still is. People are absolutely loving it today. Great to see the ride getting the love and recognition that it deserves. This is one of the best rides in the country, in my opinion. We're so lucky to have it here at Drayton Man. Manor. Fingers crossed it does stay here as part of the long-term future of this park. I can't imagine Drayton Manor without it, can you? Neither can I. Right. <laughs> well, no, would, you still, would you go on it again? Maybe. Not like we're probably going to be riding it again anyway today, looking at that queue. But no, it was great to get back on there. Uh, I do think the two sit-down towers need to be on yeah, with how big too. the queue is. From the bottom here, I reckon that's possibly close to an hour now from the steps, I guess. Um, and of course, just the one tower on. Um, so yeah, it's not great. But hopefully, uh, they'll be able to get that other one on later on. It looks like that's other, ready to go. Ready to so go fingers the crossed they can get that in action. And hopefully, stand-up will be back within the week, as, as the staff was saying. So fingers crossed um, for that. And next time I come down here, get back on stand up no floor that's where the fun's really at but uh, anyway let's go and have a look around the rest of the park loads of changes to go and see especially over the other side because of course the rapids are going to be coming back this year to drayton manor and so much to talk about over at that side of the park 
Now, unfortunately, Maelstrom is closed today due to technical issues at Drayton Manor. It's been shut for a couple of days, hasn't yeah, it's it? it's been shut for a few days now. I think it was open like the first day of the season, and then, then it shut there. again. So hopefully they get that fixed soon. Hopefully. But um, yeah, lots of exciting developments down at this side of the park. Oh, it's yeah, because this whole area of the park is now going to be known as Adventure Cove, which is new for 2021. And of course, a big part of it is the reopening of the Rapids ride. I can already see lots of repaint work and new theming that's gone into place down at the bottom. And then here on the right hand side, we believe there's going to be some new attractions. Of course, G-Force used to sit on this site, the Mara X car. Uh, that stopped operating here a couple of years ago. But yes, there's going to be some new attractions coming onto this area. You can actually see they've started to mark out what looks to be some of the foundations over there um, so these are going to be opening later this year it's going to all open in phases so um, really maelstrom that already had a kind of surf theme then you've got to think about the theme of air race is that going to be kind of like the the airport down here of course at this seaside town uh, and then of course you've got the fantastic theming with the lighthouse over there at storm force 10 and shockwave kind of had that theme as well so it's all going <laughs> to storm force 10 it's all going to come together really nice isn't it yeah really well i'm looking forward to it and of course the return of the rapid is really good now not really any changes down at this end yet like I say we're gonna really start to see that more uh, once this new ride has gone into place over here you can just see a little bit um, through the side here they've got some new breeze blocks down there looks like foundations but we should start to see ride hardware down here soon and as soon as we do of course here at theme park we'll, why we'll be down here keeping you up to date one of the reasons why we've got a pass for this year but what they have done is a complete overhaul of the shockwave station and I must say it looks absolutely fantastic Fantastic. Look how colourful it is. Before, uh, well the stage has been all sorts of colours. Most recently it was like a blue colour. Um, years ago it used to have like a mining theme so it was all brown. Um, but yeah, it's all multicoloured now. They've actually added some new theming up there. As you can see they've got, um, it looks like a clock on there. But I think it's like some, some sort of machinery, like a dial on there. And then of course they've got all the uh, black and yellow chevrons on there. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the Smiler uh, back at Alton Towers. And then they've painted all the top up. That is looking really good in my opinion. What are you thinking? To be honest, I think that looks sensational. Sensational, yeah. <laughs> stand out and I think it made a really big difference. Yeah and of course with the, when the new things come in as well yeah. really good to see it this investment. Fresh. It does fresh that's what we like fresh. Also from here I've just noticed as well we can zoom in over to some new theming on the Rapids ride of course got a great zoom on this camera. The Rapids station is right underneath the station building for Shockwave. Look at this we've got the angry angler over there is that going to be Charlotte instead of the fisherman? We've got the old seagull came in the shop then we've got the angry angler um, you've got uh, DM on the top there. Um, I don't think it's direct message though. I think it means Drayton Manor um, up there. Oh, seagull. Is it a seagull? I don't know. Charlotte's the expert. Is, uh, is it not? There you go. Down here as well. What does this say? Blow off some steam. Well, there you go. Looks like we're all going to be blowing off some steam this year here at Drayton Manor. So looking forward to that. But let's go and have a closer look and then we'll get in the queue for one of the rides down here. Maybe do uh, Storm Force 10 or possibly Shockwave. We'll get in the queue for one of those down here before we have some lunch. Well, I must say I'm really impressed with what they're seeing here in terms of theming. Of course, the park is now owned by the Looping Group and they are known to invest quite a lot in refurbishing existing attractions. They've done that at Pleasurewood Hills and West Midland Safari Park, which are two parks what they own here in the UK and also at some of their broad parks as well. So this is really good to see. Of course, the reopening of the Rapids will be down here as soon as that's back open here at Drayton Manor. Uh, later on, we'll have a little zoom across the lake to see if we can see any more footage, um, of course, of the theming going into place because there's quite a few buildings um, in place there around um, the Rapids ride. So we'll see what's happened to those and also go on the Pole Power, Power Express, the train ride and get some views looking over there. But yeah, Shockwave Station is looking absolutely fantastic. I love the depth that they've gone for and all the different colours on there. Visually really pleasing now. It looks amazing. And of course, that's a sign of what we're going to get to see um, throughout the rest of the area here. But no, it's looking really good. But I don't think we're going to go on Shockwave first because Charlotte over here is ready. <laughs> She's just been to the shop. She's got a two pound poncho. To be honest, Charlotte, <laughs> I can't take it seriously. For two pound, like that is good. Like, how are you feeling to in be there? Honest, the poncho is of a sensational quality. <laughs> is that it's the word today? Nice sensational. Nice round the top. Lovely quality hood. Let's spin round. Give us a twirl. <laughs> this is the moment that I've been waiting for throughout these lockdowns. The lever's been pulled. The fisherman is back. Charlotte and me. <laughs> We're about to go on Storm Force 10. It's time to ride it out. So, of course, we'll see when we come off. 
the sun's peeking through. Our, th our thought process was, let's go on it now before it gets a big queue. Traditionally, people go on this ride later on in the day, and I would normally do that too, but I thought, no, let's go on it now. Let's give it a go. It's got no queue at all up there. Let's go and ride Storm Force 10 with its nice, fresh refurbishment. And there she goes. Oh, I'll put in some footage of the ride in action, and we will see you when we come off. One more pull of the lever, please, fishermen. Come on. Uh, see you when we come off. <laughs> There's so much theming in the queue line for this ride. It's incredible. Uh, all these nautical themed items down here. Pots of paint, and then just little old Charlotte over here. <laughs> Yeah, loads to look at, really heavily detailed. And that's why they've kind of gone with the whole nautical theme for um, Adventure Cove with the re-theme of the area for this year. Because you've already got all this theming that exists. And it'll be great. Hopefully you're not going to need one of these on the ride. Can we get a soggy mask? Where are we going to be though? We're going to be at the front, it's we're going to be at the back. The back. Oh. oh, the back's the worst on this. Because oh, <laughs> of course you've got a backwards drop, you've got a nice big finale double drop, but the back oh, row is the worst. The and here's our friend just over here. Here he is, Captain Bird's Eye, everybody. That's it, how's your fish fingers getting on in there? There we go. <laughs> right up the lighthouse we go. <laughs> oh, I've been waiting for this moment all lockdown. I haven't. The views of Drayton Manor are awesome from up here in the queue line as well. But yeah, later on this will have a massive queue, you can guarantee it later. We're coming on here at the right time. From up here though, you get a great view of all the work that's been done. The ride used to have a jet sponsorship like the fuel company um, on the main tower there. That's been completely redone. It looks great Again, and painted up. It looks fresh. Fresh. And they've actually redone all the wooden boards and planks all around the side as well, which looks awesome. Right then, 2021's a bad year for storms. We'll see you when we come off. Storm Force 10, ride it out at Drayton Manor. Here we go. Yes, where we ended up being sat. Where were we, Charlotte? We was on the back row. We was where? The back the row. The back row. Yeah, I can't believe it. Like we got into the station, it was walk on, and how did it end up? Us on the back row. Like literally, a group in the in the front, and then us on the back. But you know what? My back is absolutely soaking. But I tell you what, it's one of the best water rides in the country. It was really good to get back on there. I am tempted to go and have another go. I mean, it's got no queue. I'm tempted. What do you think? The fisherman's not happy, but how was your ride? Wet! <laughs> it was a soaker, wasn't it? That's my hair like ruined now, but yeah, it was good to get back on there. I do really enjoy it. Fisherman Charlotte here, or the fisherwoman, pull that lever, and we're going to go and get changed and have some lunch. And then, of course, we'll come back into the park and uh, going to do some more rides. But whilst we're up here, I just thought I'd show you around at the top here, because look at the view. Spin you round, there you go. You get a great view looking over towards, of course, the new rapids. And we've actually just spotted the brand new boats that the ride's gonna be having. Um, we've actually just seen them wrapped up, so we might see that from on the Polperro Express. But yeah, zoom in there to the queue line. The theming is looking really good. I'm very impressed. All the pipes on there, all of that's new. Basically, the wooden building was there before, but it was all bland color schemes. But now they've added all the pipes and chimneys on there. Of course, blow off some steam. As we can see there, there's some barrels down the side. And of course, you've got the turntable that's just off by the yellow and pink building just there. But yeah, I'm very impressed with what we're seeing with that. If this is a sign of things to come here at Drayton Manor, I'm very impressed. And from up here as well, you get a great view looking down on the site where there's going to be some new additions opening later this year as part of Adventure Cove. Right, we're going to go and get changed, have our lunchbox, and then we'll come back in and get on some rides. Right then, back in the park then now, just had some lunch, lovely, just to sit out and enjoy the sunshine, it's a great day. 
fresh change of clothes on, nice and dry. And it's time to ride Shockwave, everybody. Shockwave. Cannot wait for this. Here we go. But yeah, it's looking really good, isn't it, the building? Yeah, it what do you really think? Really fresh. Really fresh, really fresh. But yeah, the queue's proper died down for this now. I think because it's lunchtime, a lot of people are having the food, but it's done a really good job with the building. I'll show you a few more shots out here. Of course, at the moment, with indoor space, it's not allowed to be open. Uh, the queue is just outside here and batching you up, and then you head up the steps up into the station. So let's go and have a ride on Shockwave, the only stand-up roller coaster here in the UK. Let's go and see how she's riding this year. Here we go then. So just up here now in the queue line, for Shockwave, just about to go into the station. Great views out of the windows here. And of course, we can also see the work taking place on them rapids that are gonna be reopening this year. Of course, you can see what looks to be like a covered over part of the queue line there. Um, all the wooden beams in place. On the right hand side here, you can see just how much work is actually taking place down there as well. It looks like a new evacuation platform down there. Of course, all the queue buildings have been repainted and new pipe work theming. Looking really good. And after this, we'll go on the Pole Power Express and get some better views down there. But they're really good to see. Awesome ride down on Shockwave, we only waited about 15 minutes. Yeah, it was running really well. It was, yeah, we was uh, on row five, I think yes, we were on we there, yeah, it. towards the back. And yeah, it was running really good, pretty smooth. It's a good intense coast, that, really isn't good. it? I enjoyed it. The worst thing is just getting in and out of the seats, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> but uh, no, it's good, great to get back on there. Fantastic coaster, of course, it's got uh, four different inversions on there to enjoy, a fantastic first loop. The only stand-up coaster in the world with a zero G roll and also a double corkscrew as well. But no, really enjoyed yeah, it. Yeah, really enjoyed on the it. Pulp Air Express now. Here we are then on the Pulp Air Express where we're going to get some great views, of course, of all the work going on down here in the Adventure Cove themed area. Loving the name what they've gone for as well. Loving the repaint here on Stormforce 10. Of course, the ride had a bit of a refresh a couple of years ago anyway. Quite a lot of money was spent on the operating system, actually. Oh, there she goes. There, all the tower being painted up. Very nice, really impressed, oh, but no, yes. Oh, there it is. That's the one. It might not look much, but blimey. Woo, it's a soaker. But yeah, as we come down this way now, of course, we're going to get to see over towards the rapids. It's just so nice to see what is a really wonderful park having some investment put into it again. The past few years have not been great at all. It's mostly been ride removals and to see so much going on this year, not just the rapids, but also some other new additions is great. And here we go, we should get to see the boats that have now started to be delivered down here. But I just can't wait to walk down this path again. Of course, this will open up and you can walk down here, get some great views. They put all new fencing in down here. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's very nice. The details, all the scenery on there is brilliant. So colourful as well. And here we go. Here's our first look at the building just down there. And the new boats. There we go. So these are nine-seater boats from Intamin, of course, the original manufacturer of the ride. These are state-of-the-art boats, like, really nice. We've done them same-style boats, actually, on Infinity Falls um, over at SeaWorld in Florida. Well, there you go. The boats have now started to be delivered for that. Yeah, it'd be so nice to come and walk down here and get some great shots again um, of uh, Shockwave. This is like the tunnel actually for the rapids just over here as well. So of course, um, that's all being painted up. Hopefully we're gonna have some special effects on there, fingers crossed. Oh, loads of theming over at that side. Yeah, as we go around the corner, should get to see a bit more of that. 
Yeah, look at all that detailing over there. Some new wheels on there, pipes. All the pumps that are actually for the ride system have been painted up too. Quite a bit of tree clearance here as well. See a bit of theming over there in the tunnel as well. Quite hard to capture from this angle, but you see all the different pipes in there, of course, that are going to make up this fishing town. And it's not just a repaint and reopening of the old rapids, this. There's a lot of work gone into actually putting in a new ride, a pretty much new ride system with this as well. But yeah, we'll be straight down here. If they announce an opening date for it, it'll be down here opening date, of course. Let's come and check this out. Also notice as well, they've put a bridge in going over here. This bridge never used to uh, exist. Hopefully that's going to get themed up a little bit. Not too sure what that's for. Maybe for evacuation purposes. There you go. Yeah, that bridge never used to be there. The theme is actually reminding me a little bit of a ride that Charlotte is yet to experience. But next time we get out to Florida, definitely will do. Popeye. How about that, Charlotte? No. <laughs> the new fence is going into place down here as well and what's really good is they've actually painted up the back of the station building for shockwave as well they've not just done the front what you can see from around there all the back's been done they've really uh, done a good proper job of that and they could have just left the back if they wanted to but oh no they've done all of it even all the little buildings down here it's just so nice to see a part that i do love have all this tlc i was starting to get worried for the future of drayton a few years ago and i even said that in the vlog you know i was concerned what the future was holding for this park when a theme park is constantly removing attractions and not replacing them you do feel like they're going to go down the closure routes but luckily the looping group have come in and given this park a new lease of life and like i say the adventure cove area won't just be a reopening of the rapids also down here we're going to be seeing a couple of new rides as well opening later this year and you can see all the groundwork taking place for that down here as well but yeah i'll be coming down here to drayton on a really regular basis now getting the updates on these rides and of course keeping you guys up to date with what's going on down here at the manor really good to see Gorgeous day down here at Drayton Manor. Absolutely lovely weather. Uh, now, Safari Pizza and Pasta's had a bit of an update for this year. They've actually put the booth in just down at the front here now. Used to be a full sitting restaurant, so I'm not too sure if you're still going to be able to go and sit inside when restrictions ease, or if it's now just a takeaway service and you sit outside. But no matter what, it's good to see that they've kept it. Tell you what, the zoo sign has also had a refresh down here. That's been uh, nicely painted up. And there's been some changes down here in the zoo, so we'll go and check those out. I believe there's a brand new meerkat exhibit for us to come and see down here as well shows your excitement for the meerkats hey so yeah let's go and check it out it's just here on the right hand side yes this looks loads better now before there was a really high wall it was about this sort of height and obviously wasn't great for like the kids looking into it but yeah loads better now because they've put the glass panels that kind of extend all the way around here so you can see them a lot better and there we go that's like me and charlotte sunbathing there on a hot day over there just chilled out That's so cute living the dream down there just you know nice and chilled out in the sunshine it's just so nice to have some nice weather isn't it again but yeah i imagine this is the start of a lot of work what's going to be done down here in the zoo the old owners of the park the brian family were saying for years that something was going to happen down here but nothing was really done and i do feel like the zoo needs a big update especially some of the other exhibits that are on display so hopefully this is the start of things to come would you like to <laughs> stroke the goat oh well we've heard that the goats have possibly gone so yeah, we need to go and check sure. this out don't yeah, we we need to check will goat park worldwide return today oh, it did at chessington though how did you feel that i saw him it was lovely to see oh lovely. what was he called i forgot so his name maple and maple that's so it i'm not sure which one it was honey and maple looking gorgeous oh check out the chessington vlog if you've not already seen it and me and charlotte will be back down there together at the southern we park will. soon um, to go and check out the new additions of course down there when they open such as the uh, indoor attractions like black mirror labyrinth at thorpe park for example so uh, we'll carry on down this way and go and uh, see some more of the zoo oh no entry staff only that's where we normally get round to the goats i just wanted to see the goats 
Oh, now I wonder if it's permanently closed around there or they'll just do some upgrades maybe, I'm not sure. Maybe. You've got to think the Thomas and Friends walkthroughs That's around close. there, um, which is really nice, of course, where you can see like all the model trains and stuff. So maybe that's just closed off at the moment because that's down there and that's an indoor section. No goats at the moment. So sad. I promise I'll get you some goats soon. Thank you. Come and see the chili and flamingos instead. Like, come and see them over here, aren't they lovely? Same. There you go. <laughs> Is that how we say it? Chili and flamingo? Chilean? Yeah, I think I'm so. Oh, I nearly trips over a tree trunk. That's a massive tree trunk. Look at that. Blimey. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> but uh, there you go. The Is it ch Chilean? Chilean? I don't know. Well, there we go. Nice flamingos over there. Nice pink flamingos. Talking of flamingos, flamingo land when we're coming back. So we'll be back there soon. Unfortunately, at the moment, they're not actually opening most of their big rides other than Mumbo Jumbo. So yeah, we're saving that until the other big rides are open. Fingers crossed the new coaster. We'll see what happens with that one, if it's going to be this year or next year. But yeah, we'll get back to flamingo land at some point. Here's a look at the emu that we've got down here at Drayton Manor Zoo. There's also a kangaroo in here somewhere. Where is he? Oh. Oh, there he is. He's just laying on the floor there, chilling out. Oh, we can't see him because of the fence, but oh. uh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, we've got the emus down here, enjoying the sunshine, eating some grass down there, aren't you guys? You all right, mate? How you, how you doing? You all right? All right. Well, you love watching the videos. Thank you. I'm glad you like them. What, what's been your favourite vlog this week? The, what, this one? Because you're in it? Oh, I had to guess that one. <laughs> of course, also down here in the Drayton Manor Zoo, you got the dino trail here as well. Not real animals down here, but yeah, you come and see all the dinosaurs, of course, have some photos with them. Like the Tyrannosaurus Rex there. And of course, you can get all sorts of bits of information down there as well. Oh, isn't it beautiful today? It's lovely today, isn't it? So nice just to be back out, isn't it? Enjoying the park, it's one week in now. Absolutely amazing, honestly. What a week it's been as well. And of course, if you haven't already, check out the various vlogs we've filmed this week. It has been an absolute balter, it's been great. Oh, one of my favourite dinosaurs here, the Iguanodon, of course. One of my favourites from Dinosaur at Animal Kingdom. Can't wait to get back to Florida at some point. We're not going to make it. We're, We're not going to make it. It's an Iguanodon, an Iguanodon up ahead. Oh, honestly, such a good ride. But here you go. Really nice to see him down here in the Dino Trail. It's nice round here. I do like it. Classic. Ut Utaraptor. There you go. Velocicoaster. Can't wait, there we go. Look a bit like the ones actually at the entrance of the uh, Velocicoaster at Universal. Can't wait, there we go. Cannot wait to get on that, honestly. That vlog is gonna be one of the highlights of the year when we get on that, if we get on it this year. Do you think we will, Charlotte? Oh, I hope so. I really, really hope so, fingers crossed. What do you think? Do you think we're gonna get on it this year? Yes, Sean, I think you're gonna get to ride it. <laughs> I really hope so. Thank you, Mr. Dino. So these two dinosaurs are just like me and Charlotte. I'm on the left, Charlotte's on the right, and that's me trying to get Charlotte to go on some water rides. And Charlotte's like, no, no I'm not going, not going on. I'll only go on if I get a poncho. Yeah, a two pound poncho. Hey, <laughs> fighting over the water rides. You're gonna ride it. No, I'm not. Well, you rode it today, didn't you? I did. Oh, bless her proud. Na, 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 na. It's Hegwood, everybody. Wee! There we go, running to Velocicoaster. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> go and get on. That is like me. Oh, it's broken down. Oh, no, I'm sat there. I'm not happy. Velocicoaster's broken down. Oh, oh, oh. It's testing again. Am I going to get running in the queue? No, I'm going to just sit there. White whip trove. <laughs> and now I bring you to a very rare species at the Drayton Manor Zoo. Are you ready to see the one, the only, the Hawaiian goose, everybody. Here's the Hawaiian goose. Have you got a fact for me, Charlotte, about the Hawaiian goose that we can see here? They live up to 20 years of age. The Hawaiian goose, everybody. So this is brand new down here, a new exhibit, of course. Nothing in there yet, I don't think, that we can see. However, nice to see a bit more investment down here. And it's nice as well how it's very low downside, so you get a good look inside. But yeah, not too sure exactly what's going to be uh, coming down here. But one of our favourites I can see over there, Kirk's Dick Dick. Um, oh, always a favourite of ours. Dick Dick. Yeah, always a favourite of ours at Theme Park Worldwide, Kirk's Dick Dick. So we'll go around there and see if we can see him. And here they are. Oh, they're cute, these. They're like little mini reindeers, aren't they? Oh, you're just hiding behind there, mate. I can see your friend, though. Your friend's going walking over there somewhere. Has he gone? Oh, he's gone inside. There we go, Kirk's Dick Dick, everybody. 
always nice to see them when we come down here to Drayton. Beautiful afternoon down here at Drayton Manor. Gorgeous for getting back to this park in the sunshine. It's always a nice park when the weather's great here, especially with the water rides. And talking of water rides, of course, we've already shown you them rapids boats while well, they're back on the map now as well, which is really good to see. Um, of course, you can see they're underneath Shockwave. And I'm really glad that they've brought it back and completely revitalized it because this whole area just hasn't felt the same without the rapids being open. Um, the coaster and the water ride all kind of integrate to each other. And like I say, I think it's brilliant the fact that they've completely redone that. Um, nothing else on the map here though for where we're expecting there to be a couple of other additions so of course maybe the map will just get updated later in the year when they open but no really enjoying it so far today are you? A lovely day today. Yeah we're gonna have a little walk up this section now and go and check out some of the other rides because there's also a brand new 4D film this year. Um, it's not open yet because of government guidance but we're going to give you a bit of an update for if you come in later in the year. So new for 2021, Thomas and Friends 4D bubbling boilers. So we'll come and check this out, of course. Should be able to reopen, hopefully, from the 17th of May when them restrictions ease. But yeah, it's not inside Thomas Land. Of course, it's in the existing um, 4D theater here. But um, yeah, it's nice to see, of course, they've got some more Thomas at the park. It's what's kept Drayton Manor going and keeping them afloat over the years, to be honest. So something else coming in here. I mean, over the years, they've had Ice Age in here. Yogi Bear, that was a favorite of mine. Yogi, Yogi, Yogi Bear. Bear. At Christmas, they had um, Polar, Express. What, Polar Express, that's it. I was going to call it Polar Explorer then. That's a ride at Legoland in Billund. Um, yeah, they had that film. So yeah, they've had quite a bit in here. And yeah, we'll come and check this out at some point. I used to love Thomas when I was a kid, and secretly, I still do. We'll have a look in Thomas Land later anyway and give yeah. you some updates. But first, we'll have a look up this way because I believe Sheriff Showdown is open. Yeah. I've been thinking about it. Maybe it's because it's got a kind of open station. Okay. Maybe that's why they're allowed to open it. But the haunting is closed. But we're going to have a look up here anyway and give you some updates. Well, the facade for Sheriff Showdown is looking pretty fresh. Done a bit of repainting work on here. It's looking a lot better. Really impressed with what we're seeing down here at Drayton Manor today. Having a good time so far. It's been nice to get back on some rides. We're going Sheriff Showdown. Nice dark ride. We can take you along on this one. It's only a little dark ride, so we'll take you along. Not too bad of a queue. Only wait about 10 minutes there. Sheriff Showdown, here we go. Who's going to get a bonus first? That's the question. Love getting a bonus when we come here to Drayton Manor. Of course, this attraction was refreshed a couple of years ago under the old owners. They did a good job of it, so I don't think loopings will be doing much to this now. Because it looks really good in here. You're right in the back there. My gun's like a it, silly It's a bit of vibration on your, uh, on your gun. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to be first to get a bonus? That's the question. More bonuses are normally available in the second part of the ride, but sometimes you get one on this corner. Gotta get a double whammy. Get him in there. Hey, you got a bonus! Oh, it's good to hear that again. You know what? It's, it's worth just having an annual pass for Drayton Manor just to get a bonus. Here we go. Love it. I don't know who got the bonus, if it was me or Charlotte, but plenty of bonuses available today. Love the star cloth in the ceiling on here. Hey, you got a bonus! Some really good theming in here. Hey, you got a bonus! I know you're all sitting there now watching this on your phones or iPads, computers, waiting to just join in with you've got a bonus. I know it, I can see you doing it. We're just gonna try and get one. Me, me and Charlotte gotta try and secure one more bonus for you all. We're trying so hard here. You've got a bonus! Oh, coming to a stop. Hey, you've got a bonus! Oh, so many bonuses. I feel like we're getting more bonuses than ever before today. There we go, show showdown. Great little dart ride. Oh, he's lit up a bit more over there. Got a new park hat on him, I think. Fantastic, you got a bonus. So we had our ride there on 
Town Sheriff Showdown and also just walk straight onto Drunken Barrels here. A fantastic spinning barrel ride that of course actually tilts up there as well. Brilliant ride. You've also got a nice spinning sausage there in the middle as well. It's got a nice German theme to it. I tell you what, Drayton Manor could do a really good Oktoberfest event in my opinion, especially down here at this part of the park. So yeah, you've got the spinning sausage, the bratwurst there. And then you got this lady here with the jugs. Nice big jugs of beer there for us. There we go. But uh, yeah, can you imagine doing a nice Oktoberfest event down here? Maybe having like a couple of uh, beer stalls or this section of the park. We've got quite a bit of space for it. Put some flags up. Yeah, Drayton Manor Oktoberfest. Especially because it's been such a big hit at Alton Towers. And of course, Blackpool Pleasure Beach did it last year. Could be something that uh, Drayton Manor could do here in the future. Up next, Pandemonium. <laughs> ride there on pandemonium we waited about 25 minutes how was your ride oh it made me feel <laughs> sick yeah you weren't a big fan at that time no, i normally really like it but yeah. it's quite intense maybe feel sick i think because our bodies aren't used to it that much yeah. saying that seven days in now probably start gonna get used to it again but uh no it was good to get back on there like i say biggest queue of the day for us that yeah, about 25 minutes yeah. but great to get back on there anyway new for 2021 we've got somebody just behind who we got charlotte we got slushy jack slushy jack everybody a new little slush counter just over here a brighter future come and see slushy jack just opposite the entrance to thomas land yeah i love thomas land let's go have a little walk around in here see if there's any updates to bring you for this year now unfortunately over the closed season there was actually a fire here in thomas land at drayton manor the toilet block here was actually completely destroyed in a fire uh well they are rebuilding that now of course they've got some temporary toilets out the front at the moment this doesn't look too far away actually from being completed you can see they're putting the theming back there on the top and adding some shape into the building structure but yeah i imagine that's only a few weeks away really until them toilets should be back open down here in thomas land just a small update but it's good to see they're bringing it back and of course putting the theming on there as well Thomas Land then and saw the updates around there. Very busy in Thomas Land. Of course, it is the signature area here at the park. But I'm looking forward to seeing what happens with Thomas Land in the future. Are we going to see some more of rides added in there? Possibly a Thomas Land dark ride could be really good. We did one of those out in Japan back in 2017 at their Thomas Land. So certainly something that they could look at in the future. Anyway, down to the final part of our day here at Drayton Manor now. A couple more rides to get in. Dodgems ahoy! Oh, we got on the Dodger. Yeah, it's got to be done, hasn't it? Along with that, probably going to try and get air racing as well. And that'll probably wrap up our day here at Drayton Manor. What a fantastic day. Great to get back. So 
our biggest queue of the day was 30 minutes for our final ride there, which was Air Race. Great to get back on there, great Zamperla ride. Really enjoy those, actually, do you? It made me feel a bit sick. A bit sick, but you, to be fair, you've been on everything today. Yeah, I've been on everything. You're not today. waiting off with anything. You've done I all know. the flat rides, you've done Apocalypse, Pandemonium, Air Storm Race, Force Storm 10. Force 10. It's been a really good day here at Drayton Manor. You know, I've said it in the vlogs over the past couple of years. I've really felt like this park has removed quite a lot of rides and not a lot was really happening. Whereas yeah. now, things are certainly looking a lot better, aren't they? Definitely it looks very fresh. And of course, lots of new additions coming. We know the rapids are reopening. We know there's some new uh, potential flat rides coming in for this area. Uh, and then of course, yeah, what's going to be happening in the future. It's exciting. really exciting times with Drayton really Manor. Like I say, I've got an annual pass this year, so I'll be coming back on a regular basis to the park. Probably come back in a couple of weeks and check out the uh, construction updates. Start doing a few updates, of course, on the uh, new rides. Someone's not had a good day, though. Oh. We're crying over there. But uh, no, honestly, it's been really good. Yeah, it's been wonderful to get back in the sunshine. Highlight of the day for me today has got to be Storm Force 10. Oh, it was funny, wasn't it? Yeah, like, really good to get back on there. Get the fisherman pulling that lever on there. <laughs> but today it's been good. Operations have been pretty good as well. Um, you know, in terms of, yeah, it's just been a nice all-round solid day here at the Manor. It's always good to get back. But thanks for joining us for another vlog here on Theme Park Worldwide. And thanks for watching the seven different vlogs from the opening week. Like, I need a day off. Like, yeah, day off. I'm not feeling too bad, to be honest. I could keep on riding, but you know what? Going to uh, have a couple of days to refresh and let you catch up on all the other vlogs if you've not already seen them. Seven, uh, of course, four, including this one featuring the wonderful Charlotte. Me. And uh, I went down south and did some of the parks there as well. So check them out. But what a wonderful week it's been, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been lovely. So refreshing just to get back out, doing what we love doing again, back out in the parks, giving them as much support as possible. And uh, that's going to be continuing. We've got so much planned coming up this year, starting off with the UK parks. And then fingers crossed, we'll get abroad later in the year when travel restrictions ease. But uh, there we go. Thank you very much for joining me in Charlotte. And that leaves us with both one final thing to say. Get, get out, out there, there and keep, keep on riding. riding. See you all soon.